hey my beautiful people how you doing out there uh hope you guys had a wonderful thanksgiving holiday and uh ate plenty of food i am currently on my way to work and just want to give you a shot and let all my brothers and sisters that are musicians out there or, or looking to become one uh yeah dude this is uh I can give you some pointers. I'm not saying it's the Bible because I don't think there is a Bible for entertainment. I think it's just get out there and do it and pray to God you put a smile on somebody's face. So anyways, this is I'll give you a quick update as I'm on my way to work. I had to get a little part-time job because um, uh, well, we're running tight. You know, we spent a lot of money moving down here and our savings is <laughs> like gone. So we, uh, my wife's working. She got a full-time gig temporary. I think it's just going to be temporary. And I don't know what's going on with this, but I was blessed enough to, I actually went into the local music store up here and, um, uh, talk to this guy, that guy that owns it, his name's uh, Joe's Jonesy, and uh, he's uh, gets a lot of entertain, a lot of uh, you know rock stars or uh, music people come up and they stop in a shop and stuff once in a while, and so uh, you know I'm thinking, well, yeah, I wouldn't mind do, doing a part time thing, so. I talked to him. I said, uh, "Brother, listen. I this is what I do. I told him what I do for a living, and uh, um, and you know, this whole thing with uh, performing, doing a solo gigging life is a process. It's not doesn't happen overnight. So some of you cats out there and ladies that are going to get into it and uh, knock on some doors and land a gig, it's a process. It doesn't happen overnight." So, and I've only got one gig. Well, I got two. Both of them are lodges. One's the Moose Lodge, which I told you in a previous episode. And they want me there twice a month. So that's a good, you know, extra four or five hundred bucks. Uh, actually, close to six hundred dollars a month. Just that one gig. So, um, uh, and then I got, uh, I've got the Elks Lodge interested in me, but I've got to go touch base with him. But anyways. We just got through with Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is, you know, behind us now. And we're getting ready for the Christmas season. So, I guess, you know, the Black Friday and all that stuff at his music store. I've been there for a couple weeks now, and I'm only working Monday through Wednesday. That's it. Monday through Wednesday. And I go in late, 11 o'clock, and, and uh, we close down at 6. Now, on the weekends, they obviously open later. Um, but I don't work, I don't want to work the weekends there. But anyway, so it's um and so i'm blessed so you hired me and uh you know so here i am working part-time at the music store monday through wednesday and then i got the rest of the week to do my gigs so that part's set up everything is <laughs> to me i visualize i pray to god obviously but i visualize as well because you know uh god you know i'm a christian man and and uh but i'm a fuck up like everybody else but uh uh, you know, uh, so yeah, that's it. So anyways, I'm working. Yeah. I've got like a regular gig and regular job, but it's at a music store and I dig it. Yeah. I dig helping people that are even pro musicians that come in now and again. You got a lot of people buying new guitars. He doesn't have a really high end of guitars and, and, uh, he's got, he carries a line of Epiphone, which is Epiphone is a good, good, uh, um, you know, brand. It's not a bad brand at all. And, um, and then he carries these Clary guitars, I think they're called. And they're not bad either, but they're great for uh, somebody starting off. You know what I mean? But um, they're not bad. I, matter of fact, I'm, I, I'm baffled on how they make these guitars as nice as they are for, for like, a, you know, you can get them on eBay for like a hundred bucks. I'm like, what? That's crazy. So, anyways, I'm pulling into the um, uh, pulling into my shop. I'm opening and closing. I work by myself, and uh, yeah, they showed me how to do the POS system, and that's what I'm doing. Forget about it. So, anyways, yeah, I got a part-time gig Monday and Thursday. So, two topics I want to talk about today is um, uh, uh, God. I 
can't remember the name uh, anyway so he brought it to me just recently left a comment about dead time so I'm gonna get into a little bit about that also I'm gonna get into the whole process of, of playing you know of getting gigs the whole process it doesn't happen overnight so anyways uh, I'm gonna shut her down here uh, yeah, maybe I'll just take you with me how's that and I'm, I'm gonna finish up the video in the store and hopefully it's nice and slow probably not but anyway hopefully you guys can see what i'm doing here uh, all right let's get going uh, lock this thing up i've got my phone uh see it should be charged enough yep okay oh here we go we're out here man Baby up. All right. So, yeah, here we are. Got a regular nine to five job kind of thing going on here for a couple days or three days a week. And I don't mind, you know. Yeah, it's a little boring though. I mean, actually, I think on one, on my first Monday at the shop by myself. Um, did over three grand in sales, right? uh, and Josie came in, the owner, he's going, what the fuck, Jesus, how'd you do that? I said, because, you know, I'm special that way. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know how I did that, but I did. And then the other two days were kind of fairly slow. Here we go, here's open that boy up here. Yeah. There we go. And here's the store. It's actually a pretty nice store. Um, but as you can see, I'm gonna get some lights on here. Uh, we got another 10 minutes, so cool. All right. uh, but I am gonna turn some lights on here. Uh, we'll turn that one on. Boom, boom. All right. Let me see a little bit better in here. All right. Okay. And then I go in here. Turn some lights on in here. All right. I'm not turning the open sign because I got another 10 minutes. So. Um, anyways, this is what, uh, I'm dealing with here. So this guy's music store is pretty freaking cool. Actually, it's better than some I've seen in LA and everywhere else. But anyway, so he's got lots of vinyl, um, gonna quick overview and he's got great artwork, sh uh, band shirts, plenty of LPs, and they range from anywhere from Usually the ones down here, the reissues. I didn't even know they made reissues, but the reissues are 40 bucks for an LP. And then if you get into collectors, the originals, anywhere from 150 to $400 for an original LP. Uh, he's got CDs, jewelry. He's got all kinds of stuff here. So if you guys are ever in the Big Bear area, I suggest you stop on by and... Uh, Buy a, maybe buy a little swag or something, or a shirt, or a hat, or a scarf, or a guitar, I guess. But like I said, actually, Clary makes some pretty decent basses. I was surprised. I think their basses are a little bit better than their guitars. But these are Clary. He also carries Kramer. He also carries Washburn. You know, uh, this Epiphone's pretty nice. I, I'm digging that one. Um, I used to have a 335 Gibson. Um, yeah, these are all Clary's. And then you get into, yeah, these are all Clary's. Uh, Kramer. Got a, this Kramer is actually pretty, pretty mean. Stainless steel frets. Uh, yeah, set up kind of like a Les Paul style. The tallies here uh, by Clary are not bad. They kind of have a baseball bat neck a little bit. Uh, Washburn Acoustics, uh, Epiphone, Jasmine, which is 
I believe Jasmine is from Takamimi. Uh, but anyways, yeah, and he's got a lot of uh, uh, different sizes of uh, ukuleles from uh, con uh, from uh, soprano to all the way to tenors. He's got some pretty got strings here, and then he's got this here. Anyway, so yeah, this is my new gig, dude. I stopped gigging. Yep, I did. I swear. No, I'm kidding. I would never stop gigging. What I wanted to tell you guys was that, um, we'll get into the first one, is a process on booking gigs. It's so easy to get discouraged when you're knocking on doors and you're going to places that normally hire solo artists and you're like, why can't I get my foot in the door? But you know what? It's persistence, being persistent and, um, and really bugging the shit out of them if you have to through email calling whatever you know and just uh and, and let them know that you know give me a crack be honest be humble and say hey man just you know i haven't been doing it that long but i got a great repertoire of songs give me a chance you know and that's what it's about and if you're sincere and you believe in what you're doing you're going to get gigs but like i said it doesn't happen overnight so that's the name of that tune okay uh because why I wanted to bring that up is because I'm going through that. You know, after the Black Friday, after Thanksgiving weekend, everything seems to die down. We have no snow up here. This is a ski town and summer town, but we're up about 7,000 feet and uh, they have no snow. And I don't even see, I looked on the weather, there's no snow coming down the pike, any storms. <laughs> coming but i think things are going to change in the latter part of december so i think that's going to happen and then uh so they get some snow up here they're going to get people so once you get the people up here um the restaurants and everything start uh you know getting ready and uh so yeah it's kind of a slow time right now on the it's on the cusp of being a little bit uh Uh, somebody already wanting to get in here. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going through. Um, I got a couple little things going on right now and, uh, and that's about it. So, uh, which is the Elks. I'm going to go back to the Elks. I'm going to try to get a gig once, uh, we get in there and then I'm going to, um, start hitting up some of the restaurants and stuff that do have live entertainment there's one place out here that does live entertainment all summer long but they do nothing in the winter and that sucks so there's a couple places like that but i'm going to get my butt in there so that's what's going to happen with that but it's uh it's a process so anyways that's what's going on there uh, and then the next subject is dead time. Another subject that somebody brought up on a on a post. And thank you, by the way. Um, just, I got so many things on my mind that I want to tell you guys about. So anyway, so dead time. Well this is on what i use i use the beat buddy as uh, the newcomers that are on this channel i use the beat buddy and i don't use the pedal on the floor i only use the foot switch part uh the extension which is two switches and i use those on the ground the main base unit that's actually um that's actually uh, supposed to be on the floor to run with your foot uh, I uh, run it next to me up high where I can adjust it really quick so it's about the beat buddy the beat buddy uh, the TC Helicon is a no-brainer that will um, that will that that's user-friendly it's easy once you figure it out and get in there and go through all the presets and then maybe set up your own uh, channels on there on the TC. It's awesome. Great, great tool. Now the, the uh, Beat Buddy 
is now I get a lot of songs that are the same uh, same drum set and uh, it's the same drum set but the only thing that changes in between some of the songs that I do uh, is the uh, tempo so that's what I'm adjusting well I'm also going from drum set to drum set sometimes I'll probably 50% of the time and then the um, come out of breath here 7,000 feet we haven't been up in high altitude for a while <laughs> still acclimating um, the beat buddy is I have next to me so yeah you have to go through the sets with the arrows and so after time with the beat buddy <laughs> it used to take me there's always downtime in the um there's always downtime let me put this up here hopefully you can see me let me see there we go i'm gonna sit down here and put this in the bag there we go okay so yeah there's always dead time you're always gonna have a little bit of dead time it's no big deal don't freak out and sweat now i do he also mentioned to me about medleys yeah i do a couple of medleys uh one's an elvis one i think there's another maybe it's a rolling stones medley i do all the same beat so yeah i do that but anyway so is practicing with that beat buddy just get that thing down um and and do your changes quick yeah you know and sometimes what i'll do is i'll rap while i'm setting it you know just kind of just say a few words here and there and i'll rap i mean not rap rap but you know what i'm saying so yeah it's uh it's a little bit of a uh, uh it's a it can be a little bit of a challenge and a little overwhelming when you first do it but once you have that thing next to you and you get into your set, you're like, bam, 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 bam. You start winging through it pretty quick. And my eyes aren't that great and I'm pulling it off. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's that. So I'm definitely pulling it off. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just, uh, you're always gonna have downtime. Um, and usually, uh, if, uh, even if I have to change the drum set and the tempo, I can get that done almost by the time everyone's done applauding. Not that they applaud every time, but when they do, I do get an applaud. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I can get it done before they're, before they're done. So it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it can be tricky at first, but yeah, there's a little bit of Ted time involved at first, but once you start racking through it, um, you're going to be good. So anyways, I love you guys. Uh, if you guys find it in your heart or whatever, help support the channel because I could use the help. Uh, there's a donation thing on there. Also to support one another. That's so important to support one another. So get that done and you're good to go so you guys all rock see you around